Uh, moving on and shifting focus to some of the earnings then, then airline major Interglobe Aviation has posted a solid set of numbers for this quarter gone by when sequentially for the first quarter the profit has more than tripled to a little under 3100 crores while the revenue has jumped 18%. Meanwhile, EBITDA margin has improved to 29.1% from 17.6% in the previous quarter and going forward the company said that it expects uh, to increase their capacity as much as by 25% in the second quarter. So all in all, if we look at the numbers of Indigo, they are seen to be better than what we were working with on ET now. So let's uh, try to get an understanding from the analyst itself that how are they looking at the numbers and to guide us better, we are being joined by Mantesh Sabrad. Uh, hi, very good uh, afternoon, Mantesh, and thank you for your time to ET now. Firstly, the profit figure has definitely surprised um, onto the upper end. How do you look at the numbers? The company has clocked in an a profit of 3087 crores while the guidance is there where they see their capacity expanding by 25 uh, percentage on a YOY basis and that could be 6% sequential growth. So how do how are you looking at these numbers? So these are very good numbers so primarily because the EBITDA margin is notice is 31.2%. That's a great number in terms of even from an absolute point of view with close to 5200. It's a very good number. Uh, of course, the, the airline has been really doing well aided uh, by an improvement in the load factors. And uh, despite cost increasing, uh, the overall uh, top line growth stemming from the, the uh, ASKM growth, capacity deployment growth has been pretty, pretty well managed and strong. Okay, so Mantej, the take is that there are really great set of numbers, but especially when it comes to the stock price reaction. So for tomorrow, uh, how do you see Indigo stock price reacting, um, especially in the near term, not just for tomorrow, because there's always an over overhang that the promoter will be looking to uh, offload his stake. So do you believe that that could keep the stock price movement under check? And what's your expectation on the result reaction? So, uh, very difficult to say what the result reaction would be, uh, but but coming to the fact that there would be a supply of uh, stocks or shares coming in through the promoter would normally depress uh, a, a stock, and that shouldn't that should be the case as far as Indigo is concerned. Whenever that happens, not necessarily tomorrow. Uh, having said that, the only bit of negative reaction which will make analysts recompute their numbers has to do with the overall pricing environment. You will notice that the difference between RASC and CASC, that is the revenue earned per ASKM, rupees per ASKM versus cost per ASKM, has actually narrowed quarter sequentially. Uh, that means the cost has grown faster than the, the price growth. That would mean a bit of recomputation of uh, numbers going ahead despite the higher deployment numbers that is capacity growth this factor will weigh down on the profitability as well as the revenue number going forward Okay, but Mantesh, what's your take on the fuel prices as well? Because now, um, because since Indigo uh, holds its leadership uh, position and um, every month we are getting to have good numbers, but this time specifically the cost lowering uh, to the lower, um, that cost was actually lower on the back of the lower fuel cost. But in the international markets, we are see, once again seeing crude oil prices inching upwards. So going ahead, do you expect that um, the, in, the, the cost could be managed? Managed in a better fashion, or or there could be some suppressions in the margins going ahead. So when it comes to the overall cost for the airline, it's actually favorable from a year-on-year -year perspective on the fuel fuel part. Where the cost has actually gone adverse is the other operating expenses, chiefly that that's coming from such things as maintenance and rentals. Uh, even employee cost is up. Uh, but irrespective, uh, uh, what what is likely to happen as far as fuel prices are, are concerned, we will probably see fuel prices uh, globally coming down as crude oil softens in the year ahead, uh, and and that should be be quite favorable to the airline. But you know, in airline business, and this is what we have also seen in this quarter, whatever is the extent of the fuel drop is quickly passed on uh, by the airlines uh, given there is also a competitive intensity existing 
particularly on the international route where indigo is now becoming more active so uh, the advantage coming of uh, out of fuel price dropping may not necessarily translate into gains mm. uh, for the airline 